Hi besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm starting this video in my car because I just cannot wait and I'm just so excited because today is Tuesday, October 18th and if you know, you know. I just thought I would do a reading vlog slash trying to do a 24 hour readathon but I need to sleep so I don't know how that's gonna work and I have a lot of things to do so also don't know how that's gonna work. But if I can do that, I'm just gonna do a reading vlog because I just cannot not do a reading vlog for this book and when I mean this book I mean two books actually but the first one that I'm gonna read is It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. You guys know that I need to read this and I'm gonna read this. I just bought the Kindle version. I have the paperback on the way and I want to read King of Wrath by Anna Huang which is the first book in her new series which I cannot wait to read. But right now I need to go to an appointment so I'll be right back when I start reading it starts with us by Colleen Hoover. Okay guys, it's time. It's 12.50 p.m. I'm gonna start It Starts With Us. I hope I like it. So I literally bought the, <laughs> I bought the Kindle version and I also bought the paperback because I'm just too impatient. So let's start the book. I'm already annoyed at Ryle. I forgot the Ellen notes, the letters. Oh my god. Wait, but I'm gonna cry just the cuteness of Atlas with Theo. That's so cute. I'm literally gonna cry because of that. It's so adorable. I love him. I freaking love him. And I could literally rip Ryle to shreds. Okay, I'm 44% in. I've literally done nothing but read and I know that I'm already sucked in. But tell me why Alyssa's daughter is named Riley. No. No. Mm -mm. Two hours later. So as you can see, I finished reading the book. <laughs> it was truly the most perfect second book and ending ever. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's the perfect ending. It's what we wanted, but so much more. Because if you think about it, like you need to make a book, like an entire book, um, of basically sharing the story of a happy ending but it's kind of like how they get to the happy ending so we get to the part in It Ends With Us at the end of It Ends With Us where they meet and like Atlas says all the sweetest sweetest things that we already know from It Ends With Us and that is basically how the second book starts and it all kinds of it all kind of goes from there, um, but there are some new characters introduced, very important characters, um, which I'm going to talk in a spoiler section in, in a few minutes. In a spoiler section in a few minutes, if you wanted to um, see that, but, but for my no spoiler review, um, this was a 5 star read. I can't not give it 5 stars, like I, I can't. Um, it was absolute perfection so he was like so much more in this book like so much more obviously in the first book we get so much of Ryle and it's basically the story um the storyline is about Ryle and um Lily and then kind of like Atlas is integrated in that story but this one is like you get the um, Lily point of view and Atlas's point of view, so you get both sides, which we didn't really get from the first book. So now you get to actually kind of like hear um, Atlas's thoughts and how he thinks, um, telling his story, telling what happens, and that is just perfection. It's 5 p.m. and I literally just stood up to go to the bathroom. Like, literally, I, I have been on my couch reading. Definitely recommend it. It's like the closure that I feel a lot of people needed after reading It Ends With Us. And I just loved reading this book because 
it like took me right to when I read It Ends With Us. And mind you, It Ends With Us was the first book that I ever read in my entire life. Just to put that out there. In my entire life. Um, so it was definitely a special book um, for me. It was very impactful. So reading this last book was just kind of like the closure I needed. And it literally took me back to when I read it Ends With Us and it's crazy how it's been more than a year since I read It Ends With Us and I could still picture the same characters, I could still picture the same um, settings like the shop, like the flower shop, Alice's house, um, Atlas, um, Alice's restaurants, um, Lily's apartment, like I could picture every single thing I had pictured before which honestly insane to me and I don't care if people didn't like it I loved it so I'm gonna do a little spoiler review right now so I'm gonna put the end of the spoiler review if I keep um, this vlog go to this timestamp if you don't want to hear the spoiler section you guys just from the like the first few pages I I already knew that I loved Atlas but oh my god like it had my blood Boiling, how Lily thought about Ryle, how like she considered Ryle so much at the beginning. Like, I know it's normal to think that way, to feel sorry about other people, but just, just hypothetical the situation and hypothetical to the book. Um, it just had my blood boiling because I hate him so freaking much. I don't hate him, but definitely um definitely the finger to him because yeah no thank you but enough about him no props to him and i want to talk about oh my gosh josh josh like i know i can't say this in the non-spoiler section because it's essentially a spoiler like we get this new character atlas didn't know he had a brother and we get so much from Atlas perspective and his like his past that we didn't even know about so now we have this brother that came out of nowhere and obviously at the beginning you're like who's vandalizing the, the restaurants and obviously I think the first one you think about is Ryle but after a few pages I think it was pretty obvious that it wasn't Ryle and it was someone else but like who but like when we find out that he's his brother like josh's atlas brother i was like oh my gosh because now you kind of like feel for obviously you feel for um josh because he's literally 12 years old and he has gone through pretty much um a lot of the things that atlas went went through in his childhood with her with their mother um which is another one that I hate her um until the end i mean i'm glad that they like could have an agreement a um where josh would um where josh would live with atlas and basically atlas would be his guardian um but it's insane how she was literally the same person from when atlas was like 17 15 um and she could actually have could have been worse um, in this timeline with Josh, that's really crazy, um, and yeah, definitely did not like her. Now talking about Lily and Emmy, oh my gosh, like, how Emmy is portrayed, she seems so sweet and so, like, cute, um, and obviously Lily, I'm so happy we got her happy ending and what she deserved, and I really love how the entire book she um she's firm um with her decision divorcing ryle and yeah like at some times at times like she was like hesitant if she made like the right choice but at the end of the day like everyone supported her that she did and she her like she herself knew that she had made the right choice so overall that was so so incredible in part to the story and i love that um but lastly just atlas overall the way he communicates the way he like talks to lily talks about his 
um, brother, his restaurant, his, basically everything. It's just the most beautiful thing I have ever, I have ever read in my entire life. It really reminds me of the feeling that I got, a very wholesome feeling when I read Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. That kind of wholesome, kind, kind of man. Perfection. So that is all I have to say. Okay guys, I'm filming this another day, um, but I'm gonna read to you guys what you guys said to me about It Starts With Us and your opinions, what you thought about the book, all this stuff, because I just thought it would be a great idea, it would be a great idea to actually like just like tell you guys all of these opinions. Um, so you, you know, like okay. So I'm just gonna read I asked you guys on my Instagram story and I'm just gonna read everything you guys said. Like we have a bunch of things. Okay, um, first one, loved it. Next one, so far so good, just halfway done. I really love how we are still rooting for Atlas and and yeah. Next one, we see the struggles that Lily has with Ryle as well as Atlas not pushing her to be with him. I loved it way better than the first. Can relate, I agree. Next one, it was so cute, it was, it was adorable it was so cute oh my god i'm at chapter 11 and i'm smiling so much atlas is making me blush so hard same bro same like that was me the entire book um next one i love that we finally get to hear about lily and atlas's story they truly have our hearts they do they really really do <laughs> i love this one atlas is the motherfucking standard period yes Self-help book for me because Lily and Atlas helps us to understand you always deserve better and best So true so freaking true because I feel like the entire time Well, this book could have could have turned out so differently because she could have like literally chosen um, Ryle again and like stayed with him but the persistence and consistency and hard work because it does take a lot of hard work and mo emotional strength to say no. That was very admirable. Like it was great. I cried tears of joy. It was realistically optimistic book. <laughs> Chapter four. There isn't a word to describe my hatred for Ryle. Same, bro. Like I can't even explain my hatred for that man. Like, oh my god. Next one. Absolutely perfect. Everything we needed about Lily and Atlas is there. I still can't get over it. Same girls, same, like I, I still think about them. Next one, it felt a bit flat for me. There just wasn't really a plot, but I loved seeing Lily plus Atlas happy. I feel like there wasn't really, really a plot like other books because we, it's kind of like a, a happy ending. Did you guys read the acknowledgements at the, at the end? Like it was literally a happy ending that we asked for and we got like, it, I don't feel like it was supposed to be a new story, but just kind of like what we wanted, just a happy ending. But you need to make that happy ending an entire book um, with like sense. So I feel like it was, it could have definitely been really hard. I guess it didn't really have a, a plot like other books, but I didn't mind that. It was so sweet. I'm so glad they had a happy ending and I didn't totally shatter my heart this time. I think, yeah, it didn't really shatter our hearts. It just really, it was just filled with so much love. It was so freaking cute. I'm so glad they got their happy ending. It was absolutely amazing. I love love so this was perfect. Atlas is literal perfection. Yes. I think it definitely felt like an extended epilogue. I absolutely loved it. Atlas has my heart. And yeah, I feel like maybe technically yeah, but amazing. I will see you when I start King of Wrath by Anna Huang. Happy Thursday, you guys. At least Thursday for me. Today's the day that I'm gonna read King of Wrath by Anna Huang. I'm so excited. I bought the pre-order version of the Kindle also bought the paperback, do not worry. So it's literally like 8.30 a.m. and I am gonna spend my entire morning reading the book and finishing the book. I, I'm gonna try to finish the book um, in the morning because it's not too long, it's um, like 370 pages. I love that Anne Huang puts like playlists in her books, like ugh, so perfect. I have my coffee, um, I'm ready to read this. Okay, so 
We have the main female character, which is Vivian. And I already know that the main male character is Dante, which I love. But for what I can read right now, Vivian is basically a luxury event planner in Manhattan. So now, so it starts literally with her um, being at an event, um, an event for literally millionaires and billionaires. And she is kind of like um, planning the entire event. So she's there kind of like I don't like to make sure everything's going well and etc etc so so the thing with me is that I never read the synopsis of books almost never um, so I literally just did not know anything about this book so I'm just gonna tell you now it's an arranged marriage and I can sense that it's gonna be kind of like an enemies to lovers as well so that is what I'm getting I love how we get Christian from Twisted Lies in this book love that I loving it i am 23 percent in um loving loving the enemies to lovers i'm a little bit annoyed at dante i'm not gonna lie because he's a bit he's very much a douche but i feel like that's just it with like billionaires in these types of series so let's see what happens but i'm liking it two hours later so I went out for a bit, I had a lunch, and it's 1.23, so I'm gonna pick up where I left off, which is... I'm like 37% in, I think. Yeah, it's 37. I'm on page 142, so I'm gonna keep reading. I'm really, really loving... I'm really loving the book. I, I'm, I just know that this series is probably gonna be my new favorite series by Anne Huang. I, I just have a feeling. I love Vivian, and I love Dante. Um, he's not so annoying anymore, so I'm liking that. Okay, a little update because I've been reading for a while. It's 3 p.m. And, um, one thing that I do want to say, like, I'm on page 257 and I feel like it's getting a little bit repetitive, like it just a bit because um, kind of like the plot and like the problem per se of the entire story that I know it's gonna like break out at some point but it never does. It's just the anticipation of when, so you never know when the fight or the thing um, is gonna break out. Which I mean it's normal but I'm just like here like when, it's not that it's bad I want to point that out, it's really good. Um, but I'm just, I do not have the patience, you know, so I just really want to get to that part So I'm gonna keep reading and I will let you guys know, but I'm really liking it so far. I finished the book. It's 4.20 um, right now Surprisingly, it took me so much longer um, than it starts with us. I think it was because um this book had kind of like more difficult words for me to read so I sometimes had to like reread the um, sentences but that's fine like I, I could understand either way it just took me um, a little longer but I didn't mind um, but right off the bat finishing the book um, my rating is it's 4.5 stars out of 5 stars I'm gonna get into it in just a second but yeah that is my whole rating overall it was a really good book I love the writing I love the characters um, it did feel really similar to Twisted Love, which is the first book in the Twisted series. Um, it's not the same thing at all, but it does have that same feel, but it just gives off those vibes. So if you liked Twisted Love, I think you're really gonna like this book. So right off the bat, I love the arranged marriage. It was very much Olivia Rodrigo's one step forward and three steps back kind of thing very very much it was a little bit of a slow burn that's also very important to say because i did feel like it took a while um it was a lot of obviously denial which is kind of like i think what happens with arranged marriages in books so i mean it's fine what i was talking about before that i like we get into the part where the whole thing explodes you know I was like, oh my god, and what happened afterwards, like I feel like Anna Huang, is, Anna Huang does the most hurtful plots. Like I mean, they're so good, and they're so good because they literally hurt. I for sure thought like, 
oh my gosh, I'm really gonna hate this guy. Like, I'm really not gonna like Dante after this. Like, I just can't like not see how I'm seeing him right now. But obviously, a 180, not, not even 180, like a 360 happened with him. And I think my least favorite character in this entire book is Vivian's father. Ugh, like, if I could roll my eyes out of my head, I would. So annoying. Not, did not like him, but that's, I, that's the whole point. And the reason, and I always say this, and I always keep this in mind, when you read a book or see a movie and the villain kind of thing, the villain, you really hate the villain, um, like you really despise the villain, the author or the producer, etc., or the um, actress or actor did an amazing job because that is what we should be feeling. But also we get, so we get the characters. We get Vivian and from Vivian's side, Vivian's family is, Vivian's family is new money. Um, and Dante is old money. So it's basically a very much, that's why I say it's similar to Twisted Love, but make both sides really, really rich. Um, it's that very socialite New York kind of thing. So Vivian's parents are her father, her mother, and she has a sister. Um, and they're all new money. That is one part. Vivian has two best friends, which is Isabella, which I was so happy to read. You guys, I never read books where just like a single character is named Isabella. Like never. I think I've never read a book where a character is named Isabella. So it was, it was so nice. It was so nice and props to you, Anna, because I loved her. Um, so she's one of Vivian's best friends, and then she has she has another best friend, which is Sloan. Um, loved both, really nice people, really um, very good best friends. Love them. Um, so for Dante's part, Dante is, as I said, old money. He comes from like they're not like a mafia type of family, no. They're just billionaires, um, but they don't get to that level of mafia. He is owner of these really big companies, he's a billionaire, he has he has a father, a mother, and then a brother. So the entire story starts with a problem with his, his younger brother, and I want to state that Dante is 36 years old. <laughs> so yeah, just want to say, just want to state that because um, I feel that is a very also a very big difference in the age um, differences between the Twisted series and this one but like not so much but overall I love the arranged marriage the enemies of lovers the love the banter the spies oh okay so the spies I feel like it wasn't like as spicy as I thought it would be um, I've talked a lot about um, King of Battle and Blood by Scarlett Sinclair and that book is really spicy in my opinion like it's a really spicy book one of the spiciest books I've read in a while and I really thought this book was gonna be like very very spicy and yes it does have like or maybe it was four or maybe less because it, it was definitely not all about the spice so Definitely the spicy scenes just added to the story, which was really good. Um, so I don't know what else to say. Overall, it was a really amazing book. I can't wait to read the next one that comes out. It was a 4.5 out of 5 because I still want to read the other books. I love this book, but I'm not sure if it's a 5-star read. So I want to read the other ones. Um, and at the end, I can really, really feel when a book is a 5-star read from the entire series, if you know what I mean. So overall, that was my entire review for King of Wrath by Anna Huang. Let me know in the comments what did you think of the book. But please, please don't spoil anything for other people that haven't read the book in the comments. But now let's get to the spoiler review because I did one for It Starts With Us. So roll the clip. If you don't want to see that part, skip to this part. But let's start. If you, if you read the book, we need to talk because... <laughs> oh my gosh. Dante at the beginning was such an ass. Like... It didn't surprise me at all. It was just really annoying at the beginning. You know what, like the entire book, I was okay, fine. Don't have really anything to spoil, like I need to spoil. But this part, obviously the one, the betrayal, I feel like Anna Huang does so harsh betrayals that I'm like, 
what 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 just happened damn like it wasn't just I think it wasn't only the part where she finds out that he was lying to her and the things he said when he was talking to Vivian's father in his office but it was more when she went back to his apartment she started like packing up her things and then obviously he came to um obviously he came to her like trying to speak to her and the things he said no no for me it was so hurtful like what the hell like no that was the part that i was like oh my god am i gonna like end reading reading this book and like literally hating him i know the 360 and he he made it up to her and all this stuff but i'm just fresh out of the book like i'm still thinking about that that is basically all i wanted to talk about um besides like vivian's father which i despise the audacity to literally sell his daughter off to a man he doesn't even know dante could have been like a really really bad person and then he's like i'm your father and you should respect me nonetheless like are you serious my blood was boiling at that point with him so you know what he does not get a happy ending mm -mm. don't even know what to do with myself I, i'm gonna need to start a book right now because i'm gonna get in a reading slump and it's not gonna happen end of the spoil review so you guys i was not planning to upload this video tomorrow friday today's thursday for me so tomorrow i have to upload it so i'm kind of doing this outro right now um thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you guys like the video and let me know your thoughts on the books overall just thank you so much for watching if you're still here and i will see you in my next video um which i'm really excited about so i'll see you in my next one bye Thank you.